I mean, one of the most important things for us is the, the setting. Um, I mean, we did it for uh, a number of reasons. One of it's just, you know, that it has such an amazing architecture. It's such a beautiful city. And we thought it really fit the theme of our game, which, you know, we follow these guys go on this journey where they, uh, they start out very professional and very clean and trying to do the right thing. And then they go in and all these terrible situations really make them start to fall apart and, uh, you know, just go to this kind of dark place psychologically. The story overall, you know, as you mentioned, was originally inspired by Heart of Darkness, but we've kind of gone our own direction with it. Um, and we've, we've honestly taken inspiration from a ton of places. So, um, you know, uh, movies like, Gener or excuse me, shows like Generation Kill, movies like, uh, you know, Saving Private Ryan, Black Hawk Down, that kind of thing. Uh, really just the, the whole genre. And then also some of it's just from events in real life. Uh, you know, we have a, a military advisor on the game that we've been talking with, and he's had some, some crazy stories and just you know, given a more personal perspective of what it's like to be in these kinds of situations, um, you know, what it's really the, the difficult decisions that real soldiers have to make. RPG, second floor. Oh, you know, we have the M249 light machine gun and we need to know how to how to reload it because like in some games they'll do it this way and some other, you know, and then you'd watch footage and it wouldn't be totally clear and then he'd really, you know, uh, break it down for you why there's different ways that you can, uh, can reload that weapon, for instance. He's done! Because we wanted to make it sort of show the human side, you know, sometimes you have to take uh, a few liberties. So, uh, you know, even down to silly things, like you would never say the word right to refer to a direction in combat because it can be ambiguous if you're saying, you know, right, like affirmative or right the direction. But just to add some variety and, you know, some familiarity, like that's something we do is we'll say, like, it's on the right side. Uh, so little things like that, that um, where we break with reality. But overall, we really try to give it an authentic feel. The, the sand gameplay is something that's pretty important to us. So, you know, of course, we have this, this city that we've wiped out with these sandstorms, and it would be a shame if we didn't use that. So, um, you know, as you mentioned, one of the things that you can do is uh, use these sand avalanches where you can just bury people underneath tons of sand and, and kill them that way. Um, another uh, more systemic way that we use sand is uh, if you throw a grenade and it lands in the sand, then it'll uh, kick up a huge dust cloud, and that'll cause people to uh, be stunned, you know, uh, bent over and coughing. Of course, it also kills the guys that are closer to the explosion. Um, and then uh, we also have these uh, sand falls where you can um, shoot it. You'll see some sand trickling from the ceiling. And then you can shoot that, shoot at that, and cause some more sand to come down on people's heads, and uh, that'll stun them as well. Um, and then, of course, there's the sandstorms, which really just bring the combat really up close and personal and change the whole dynamic of uh, how everything feels. And you know, things like long range weapons, of course, aren't going to be very useful if your, your aim's swaying all over the place from the wind. Everyone be cool. We got civilians down here. Nice place. You guys seen this shit? Silk curtains? I mean, I would say the biggest thing, honestly, is our narrative. Just watching these characters sort of dissolve psychologically as they go through the story is something that I haven't seen before. And um, especially the way that we sort of weaved it into the, the core game. So, you know, obviously in the script, there's moments where you, you see their stress and you see how they react to the situation. But even just, you know, if you're sitting there in combat, um, the way they speak, even just down to I'm throwing a grenade or I'm re -re reloading my gun or I'm telling my squad mate to go kill this guy. At the beginning of the game, you know, they might be very professional and be like, okay, you know, tango by the door, take him out. By the end of the game, it's going to be like, kill that son of a bitch, you know. Um, and it's also reflected in their, their visual appearance as well. So, you know, at the beginning, they're very, very clean, very pristine looking. And by the end, they're bloodied and bruised and torn up and dusty. And uh, I think just these little details really help reinforce the story we're telling and help make it uh, very believable as you watch these people sort of fall apart. Get on the